So we have two speakers in our session. Uh, the first speaker is Professor Taehwan Kim from Postec. So let me briefly introduce him. So he got his uh, bachelor's degree and uh, PhD from Seoul Russian University. And uh, after that, he worked as a postdoc researcher at Oak Ridge National Laboratory at, in Tennessee uh, until 2010. Uh, after which he uh, joined the, uh, depart in the Department of Physics of Postec as an associate professor. Uh, currently, he is an associate professor uh, in, at Postec. So he's a uh, he's well-known uh, leading expert on uh, structural and electronic properties of low-dimensional systems. In particular, uh, he has been doing uh, beautiful works on. Uh, topological defects uh, in one-dimensional wires. So, so I, 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 we very much look forward to uh, listening to listening uh, his uh, recent works. So let's welcome him with a big applaud. Yeah. Thank you for a nice introduction uh, and uh, inviting to this nice to workshop. So today I'm going to talk about the Kara soliton and it's a uh, uh, ground state is also has a car st stacking order. So I will introduce you all of you about this uh, uh, quad one dimensional high density wave. Maybe exhibit is a fascinating car natures. Uh, my talk is uh, divided into uh, two main parts. One for I focus on the car soliton, and then I move to the, the car stacking order for the ground state. Okay, uh, all of this work is, uh, cannot be done without is these many people's help. Uh, especially if the Hang Yans actually introduced uh, me uh, in the, this fascinating system in the long time ago. And uh, Sang Mo Chan has uh, strongly collaborated with, uh, uh, he uh, supported a lot of in the theoretical background and the development. Okay. And also, uh, this talk is based on the, all the reference over here. And the details you can find in the, uh, this reference, these references. Please uh, refer to this reference if you want to uh, run the more. Okay. First, chirality. Is chirality is a concept. It, it was brought by the, in the Lord Kelvin in the long time ago. Actually, uh, he. Uh, wanted to the, uh, bring this concept to uh, this, this uh, 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 symmetric broken, especially mirror symmetry or rotation symmetric broken structures. But it looks same, but when you look detailed, there are uh, different counterparts. But for example, in the, our hands, in the left and the right hand uh, look similar, but we know that they are not identical, right? But when you uh, using the mirror, actually one hand uh, transferred to the, the other hand, which is a card or pattern. So when I encounter uh, symmetric breaking, especially mirror symmetric breaking, then you uh, should consider in the chirality. So today I'm talk about is this chirality, especially in the structure, uh, structurally, and mirror symmetric broken systems. Okay, and also I want to introduce the Shushu Pahiba model, which is a well known, a typical pro prototypical in the system in the one dimensional atom lattice. So if there is an atom chain like this uh, with the equal distance, and each atom have, has uh, in the one electron, which is a half field system then we know that this is metallic. But it can be dimerized due to the, the Pyrus instability. Then uh, two different and the ground state can exist. As you can see here, different dimerization direction uh, makes A phase or B phase. But you know there is a, these two ground state as topologically totally different. So to describe this topology, the, we often use jet phase. The jet phase, uh, the B phase as pi, 
that A pace is zero. Then these two distinct topological invariants describe the distinct topology. So if you these two different uh, uh, ground state met at the single chain, that is the interface should be topologically uh, interesting state. So, uh, and more detailedly, actually, uh, each phase has a, a different shooter spin uh, behavior. A phase, there is shooter spin in the just for the backward oscillating, but is a B phase, uh, continuous uh, total lab round in the origin and the below sphere, which we know there is a one for the uh, present like sphere solid sphere, the other is like a uh, torus or cup hand. So these two are, uh, looks uh, actually exactly the same uh, banded structure, but its topological nature is the opposite. So it's if you two is made together at the, on the single chain that they should have interface, have topological distinct in the we call these the topological solitons should be up here. So here, uh, the A phase, B phase, there has a different order parameter, basically a different sign. Then is uh, if you connect it from A to the B, A to the B, then is the interface should be a topological distinct state. And also B to the A, also same. Topological distinct phase is exist. This one is uh, uh, either A or B phase. So we are uh, should distinguish. So is we often call it topological soliton. And uh, this one, if called is a soliton, the other uh, often called the anti soliton. But is uh, uh, mathematically actually they are the same, and the physically also they are the same still. Which is they has a, a, a zero energy edge state like here within the band gap, bulk band gap, and if you plot this uh, edge state, soliton state in, in the in the spatially, then they are always uh, uh, localized and interface. But in the bulk phase, they are extended all over the wire. That is the, the soliton state, they are localized in the edge state. So that's why open people call this edge state or solid state. So before the moving on, on the main uh, uh, topics, I would like to uh, show the, some uh, uh, simplifications. So the Shushu Pico Higa model actually based on, actually uh, try to explain the, in the, uh, uh, high conducting polymer chain, which is a polyacetylene. Polyacetylene structure like here, but is a, we are using this more simpler uh, model. Because of this simpler model, I captured all essential, of, essential physics of this uh, polyacetylene. Okay, same thing uh, I can apply to the, in the our real system is the indium atomic chain on, on top of the silicon surface, but they are detailed atomic structure like here, but I like to use in the more simpler model, which is a coupled double chain or a coupled double Shushripa model as I prefer to use. So because it's a, this uh, simpler model actually capture the essential of the all details of in the uh, indium atomic chain. So I, I uh, whenever I uh, compare with the experiment uh, and uh, using the, the with the use this simple model, and also this is a on dimer case, which is metallic case. When you cool down, then it uh, becomes a, a child dense wave up here. Then uh, realistic uh, atomic model there has a, a hexagon formation occur, but is a I. Prepared, as I mentioned before, I prepared that there is a simple of simpler model, which is just a diamond in the double chain. It's a, a more fun, a more easy to understand what was going on. All right, 
So that's what I want to do for the background. So first of all, I'll try to uh, talk about the Carter Solitum. So the uh, Shushuku Higa model, I, I forgot to mention, Shushuku Higa model, anti-soliton and the soliton, uh, they are connecting different ground state left to the right, but it's essentially they are same. So we cannot distinguish in terms of the chirality. So then how can one D system have chirality like uh, 2D or 3D? You often see it in the uh, chiral 3 w phase in the two-dimensional or three-dimensional system, but I do uh, uh, rarely heard about in the, about in the Carter 1D system because it is a, it's very hard to have this chirality because it needs additional dimension. So instead of uh, uh, expand the really 2D or 3D, we try to find in the kind of quasi one-dimensional system which we introduce additional wire chain very close to the original one the chain, then introduce the interchain coupling. So this interchain coupling actually provide additional dimensionality. Then it can have character because this interchain coupling can have a chance to do break mirror symmetry when the chain is dimerized. Okay, uh, this is a, a model Hamiltonian, this kinetic term, and this is potential term due to the, in the dimerization, and this is interchain coupling. So uh, this is a, a undimerized metallic uh, double chain, then in the, when we apply it in the dimerization, then is, there is two choice for each chain, like A phase, B phase, just like the Shushu Pihinger. And the, as well as there is additional degree of freedom, which is interchain coupling. So if you, uh, one atom, upper one atom, uh, interact with the interchain coupled with the and the lower chain, there is two atom there, but it's not uh, dimerized. But the other case is dimerized, right? So the same thing in the lower atom can, interact with the undimerized pair or dimerized pair. These two uh, different uh, class of uh, uh, the, the dual freedom can be existed. So it's a uh, dimerization and the interchain couple, and the, there is a two uh, cases that in total four cases we are expecting. So this is all four cases I described here. So each actually, ground state, degenerate ground state, this uh, double coupled chains, but the topological distance, I will show you later. And also, as I mentioned before, in the, there is a, a, a potential term, this two potential term, independent to potential term. And using these two potential term, we can uh, 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 construct is a kind of a, a order parameter phase. The all of atom phase, oh, oh, each ground state can uh, occupy the different corner. So it's uh, topologically different, but energetically is degenerated in this system. So before going on, we first check if this is our simple model is uh, really feasible to, and also really describe well to the, in the low energy physics in the with a real uh, atomic structure. So we did uh, perform it in the DFT calculation based on the atomic, uh, realistic atomic structure. We got a, a band structure and this is undimerized cases, dimerized cases. In the dimerized case, they open the band gap is near the uh, brilliant zone edges. And also we did uh, tight binding calculation based on the, the simple uh, uh, interacting in the two chains, then we found this, uh, uh, this band structure like here. When you look carefully in the, this uh, purple circle, which is uh, uh, near the band gap, the, this band topology is exactly the same as in the DFC calculation. So we believe this type of band calculation 
is good enough to describe our system. All right, then, uh, as I mentioned before, we have four ground states. Then we, we calculate uh, using tight binding uh, model. Then and we have band structure, but all ground state the same band structure. But I've, we found and that their uh, band uh, topology is different, each by each. So uh, one for the is the dimerized character, the other for the interchain coupling. So for example, this ground state, the first ground state, there is upper chain, lower chain, it's a band character like here. But in the uh, second ground state, look at here, upper chain, there is a dimerization is a change because you hear a dimer within the unicell, but it's uh, off the unicell, right? And so it's a uh, upper chain is a dimerized character is a reverse, but the lower one, lower chain is a dimerization is same because they are same direction, but are, uh, their interchain coupling is opposite because it's uh, when you look at the first atom in the bottom, they are interacted with the uh, unpaired and the undimerized pair, but if this one is uh, interacted with the dimerized pair. So each ground state has their own and uh, uh, band topology, which means that we can apply the exact same uh, logic uh, as uh, in the Shushuka hidden model. So whenever uh, two of these ground states to meet is uh, one wire, then we expect the interface should be topologically distinct phase. So first, uh, we checked this uh, experimentally, each ground state if exists. As you can see, the, each one is uh, realized. And also in the large scale images, as uh, we can find in the uh, of, uh, four ground state, designer four ground state, when you look at the ratio, it's almost identical, which means analytically equivalent. And also, uh, we probably, yeah. also we, we found uh, some unsigned uh, area uh, with the, the ground state, which is this is not the ground state, but it, instead it, it, uh, so this is kind of uh, interface between the two ground states, right? Which is uh, uh, simply topological defect or uh, topological solid tone. So, uh, all ground states occupied in the four corner in the other param space, then whenever connecting two of them, then we can generate in the topological solid tone. So uh, the, the clockwise direction, we have uh, one uh, type of uh, uh, topological solid tone, we call it in the right kind of solid tone. And uh, counterclockwise way that we have uh, in the left color solid tone is the diagonal direction connection. Then we have a color, which is non color solid tone is uh, we can get. So uh, how we can distinguish it is uh, non color is more easy, which is uh, there, uh, uh, they are just to translate the half unit cell and the one ground state just translate half unit cell, then connected each other, then the, the interface we call in the Akara soliton. But in the right color and the left color soliton, they are only change translate to one ch chain, which is this one is a chain uh, switched in the upper chain, but this one is switched the lower chain. But the other chain is doesn't change their uh, dimerization directions. And then how we can distinguish these two right and left? Just look at the focus in the center of this interface. Then is this atom interact with uh, dimerized pair, but this one is uh, interact with undimerized pair. So then we can distinguish. And this uh, subtle difference actually make a huge, dif uh, uh, huge difference in the electron property. Okay, then the, we can find this kind of uh, uh, interface 
color uh, solid tone in the real system. As you can see here, uh, this is the right color cases, this is left color, this is a color case. They are distinctly distinguishing. And also, uh, uh, I'm using the scanning tone spectroscopy measurement, then I will, we can uh, measure the dense of state of each sample, uh, uh, each uh, color solid tone. For example, here, in the, uh, when you look at the, in the uh, gray curve, uh, gray curve there has a two bump here. The sample bias correspond to the, the electron energy, which is the zero volts correspond to the Fermi level, and the positive uh, volt is uh, above Fermi level, which is the empty state. And the below the uh, uh, zero volt is negative bias is correspond to the in the uh, in the field state or below the Fermi level. So then is a, uh, there is a two uh, dense of state enhanced within the in, in, in the and the band gap in the bulk of band gap, but in the uh, right color solid tone only have below the in the uh, uh, the Fermi energy, which is uh, the field state is enhancement there, but in the left color solid tone in the opposite there has a empty state in the edge state is enhanced, so. And due to that difference in the uh, dense of state, then in the uh, scanning tolerant microscope imaging also uh, uh, represent differently, which is uh, we image it like a 0.5 minus 0.5 uh, uh, volt, which is above here. Then as we can see here in the right color sort of has a more dense of state uh, uh, from in the Fermi level to the minus, uh, uh, 0 0.5 volt, then is there uh, the tunneling, the, the probability is uh, the increase, which is correspond to the in the height. So get it brighter of the center, but the left color is there is less dense of state, then it's more dark. So to get more ideas, so we profile compared uh, like here, then as, as you can see here, their height, apparent height, because of the, this is a scanning tunneling microscope, basically uh, sensing tunneling current between T band sample. Uh, mainly T bands, uh, the tunneling current depends on the distance between uh, T band sample, uh, because the tunneling uh, uh, current is uh, increased inversely uh, uh, over the. Uh, Exponentially, inversely, uh, 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 to the in the distance, uh, but and the also is it depends on the dense of state of the material. So, so uh, right color uh, solid tone has a more dense of state at that bias. There is they are enhanced, so parent height is is higher. And also, uh, we perform the tight binding calculation. Uh, because based on the simple model, but then we are simulating the, this uh, uh, height profile based on the dense of seed. Then we, we have a very nice measurement. As you can see here, uh, each is a right color, left color, is a, a color or tone. Their profile in the upper chain, the lower chain, but is uh, look at careful. The STM profile is a black color. And the blue curve is uh, uh, calculated by the tight line calculation that they are matched very well, very nicely. Even in the STM is uh, uh, measured the real sample, complicated atomic structures, but it's a tight binding, very simple model, but it's a simple model good enough to capture the, this uh, uh, essential physics. And also we found is a, uh, uh, this uh, left color and the right color sort of can be switchable. Uh, these two images actually same location. Uh, this is D1, D1 is a defect, it's exactly the same, doesn't move at all. And the, and the D2 is a movable defect, but within the, this D1, uh, D2, there is a, a, a left color sort of captured. And, but, 
when you keep uh, watching the, this uh, soliton, then it's uh, sometimes suddenly they are uh, switching to the, in the right kind of soliton as you look at here. So we did a uh, trace in the over time that I found is that there have a couple of events to switching back and forth in the left car, left to the right or back and forth. Then we found this one uh, uh, might be caused by the, the Al-Qaeda soliton. As you can see here, some event, actually we observed the Al-Qaeda soliton is existed within the two different sites. So here is our scenario. So there is a, a D1 defect, there is a D2 defect. Inside that, uh, there is a, initially there is a right color soliton there, but it's a moving and the color soliton approaches in the right side, then it's uh, the, uh, the come over in, in the D2. Once it's a change, and actually, a chiral soliton is a keep flipping in the ground state in the uh, like a, from blue to the degree. Then, in, when you move up, the this defect, this defect is uh, shifted by the, the half uh, the one lattice constant of the silicon and the substrate. That is this finally this a chiral soliton inside in the uh, D one and D two. But it's D1 and D2 distance is uh, almost comparable to the in the soliton length scale. Then is two soliton cannot satisfy with uh, this compact squeezed space. So then they have to compromise somehow. As a result, that is uh, becomes in the switch to the in the uh, right color soliton. So this uh, uh, event we can summarize like. Uh, here using the, in the other part of the space. So first there is a, a left color soliton in the connecting the green state to the blue. Then is uh, uh, merging with the Akara soliton. Akara soliton connecting the blue to the red. Then is a two soliton. Now is the body into the one soliton, which is in the green to the red. So it's a, their colority now is a switch. So this kind of uh, uh, switching, character switching, we can expand in many ways. So like uh, a cutter and uh, left cutter was because of this phase shift, two phase shift is uh, uh, gone. Then it's only one phase shift in, in the upper chain. Then it's, this is correspond to the, in the uh, right cutter soliton. And also if you, there is two right color bit together, that is the, becomes a color soliton, as we can see here, or the part of the space. Then we can make like a operation table using the topological soliton. So G corresponds to ground state and the L left color, R right color, A a color soliton. So when you add uh, each element, then we can generate uh, one of four. So our system actually starts from in the Shushripa chain. Uh, single Shushripa chain is a G2 topology. But if you uh, non-interacting two chain, actually like here, but it, this is not uh, G4, this is just a, a G2 cross G2, which is a non-cyclic client group. But in our case is actually cyclic group order of four. Uh, which is called the G4. So when you compare it, this one is exactly uh, match well. So we believe this is a uh, 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 soliton it can be used like a topological operation. Okay, let's move on to the, in the Carter staking order. This Carter staking order mainly focuses on ground state. As I mentioned before, we have full ground state, right? So here, from here, uh, I will uh, refer as uh, A, B, C, D, okay? So there are a full ground state, but it's a, when you make the sample uh, with a, a much, much less defect, this defect only uh, 
a few of them. And that is their stacking order. It's not random. There has some kind of order that prefers some kind of order. Um, as a highlight here, there is a connecting start from uh, top yeah. A, B, C, D, or C, B, C, D, or uh, reverse way D, C, B, A, or D, A, D. The certain order often found, but certain order never found. So I wonder what makes this, uh, what drive this kind of a staking order. Uh, so, so we start from scratch. So, uh, the, this is an undimer case, metallic case. Metallic case, there has a, a mirror symmetry. Each atom has a mirror plane, right? But when you dimerize, this mirror plane is broken, which means each ground state already cutter. So as you can see here, uh, this is uh, M1, M2 is a um, middle plane, but not uh, uh, for uh, own mirror symmetry. It's not our own mirror symmetry. It's um, when you uh, apply the uh, uh, mirror symmetry uh, along the in the M1, then is this A state becomes in the another ground state. If you try to operate in the via the M2, then is they are moving to another uh, ground state. I summarize over here. So if you uh, using A, the uh, M1, M2, then is they are connected to B or connected D, which is uh, uh, the B is a uh, uh, chiral partner of A via M1. D is a chiral partner of A via M2. Or just to translate, the half translate, then is uh, connecting in the diagonal direction. Anyway. So then we can stack random, like the form start, uh, same ground state or uh, 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 chiral partner AB or AD or translate the partner AC. Then we uh, did uh, the DFT calculation, then which is uh, a lower energy. Then we found is uh, uh, this one, AD is a low risk energy, as you can see here. And uh, this band structure quite similar to the uh, widely learned and uh, uh, RPS measurement in the real sample. But the highest case is uh, uh, same ground state stack together. Then is uh, uh, their band structure totally different, which is uh, uh, the band gate should be opened at the zone boundary, but now is uh, their indirect band gate and uh, the gamma, uh, the near the gamma point, there is a conduction band is uh, lowered down to carry the indirect band gate. So anyway, so we learned this, the AD, which is uh, uh, M2 chiral partner is more uh, stable staking uh, configuration. Then we learn, uh, uh, try to make this uh, uh, low risk staking configuration can expand the more and more. Here is a way stacking four wire to come back to this original case. We'll start from A to A. Then is there is a three different uh, and the computation is possible energetically, uh, almost equivalent. So it's a ADAV is the lowest one, but is a, another is a ADDB also is a quite low, it's almost identical. Then is a, we believe this the three is taking, uh, just like is a chirosolitone, it also contains chirality. Like here, they are zigzag motion, what we call it is a non chiral staking order. But this one, they are moving to the left, is a left chiral staking order. They are keep moving to the right, is a right chiral staking order. So, indeed, we can find this uh, three different chiral staking order in the real system. Uh, this is a, a I color as different in the ground state as a different color. Then I uh, uh, 
uh, investigate the second order, then I, I highlight over here. This is red is the right color, the blue is the left color, and the dashed line is a kind of second order. So they are basically mixed up, but is a locally they are they prepare the certain uh, stacking order, as you can see here. So this actually uh, can be uh, confirmed with the, in the more detailed DFT calculation. We plot in the, the charge density and the uh, balance band or conduction band. And based on the, this calculation, we can simulate with the STM image and the, the stacking differences, three different stacking order. Then we uh, did uh, the DFT, uh, 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 DFT uh, transformation, uh, F, no, sorry about that. Uh, the fast free transformation. As you can see here, uh, the, the fast free transformation, the exhibit, uh, the distinct is the color staking order, uh, as you can see here. So, but the realistic case is, uh, so if you did is a diffraction pattern in the real sample, this all three different in the staking order mixed together, uh, then is a, they make it like a, a line, not the, the spot as you can see here. Anyway, uh, this uh, kind of staking order, the structural kind of staking order, often interact with the, in the circular product line. So we uh, studied uh, the, any chance to exhibit is a circular dichroism in this uh, uh, kind of staking order. First, we uh, calculated each ground state because it, uh, ground state already in the chiral structure. Then we found their uh, circular dichroism really exists. Yeah, as you can see, it's a different uh, chiral partner has a, exhibited a difference in the uh, uh, absorption rate uh, between the, in the uh, left chiral the circular light and the uh, uh, right circular light. Then we expand in the uh, two wires stack together. There is uh, two color patterns stack together. Then the circular dichro is, is gone. Uh, this makes sense, right? Because they are uh, color patterns. So they are canceled, the, this circular dichro. But what about the, when you have in, in the color staking order, then uh, specific staking order can only exist then we uh, can have uh, uh, circular dichroism, as you can see here. Over here. So today uh, I'm start uh, with uh, and uh, the uh, coupled chain, which is generate is a full ground state, but each one is already cutter. But each uh, two of them is made together, then generate in the topological, especially chiral soliton. And also this ground state can be stacked with chiral, like a, a, a different chirality can, may have, or can interact with in the circularly polarized light, as you can see before. Okay, let me uh, close my talk. And if you have a question or comments, please go on. Thank you. Thanks for the nice talk, Professor Kim. Uh, now the session is open for questions from audience. If you have a question, you can raise your hand by using Zoom. Or you can just speak up. Yep, uh, Sun Jong Woo. Uh, uh, thank you for the nice talk. Um, I have a question about the uh... Uh, like, um, so my question is, I'm sorry. My question is, uh, like, can, can you also see that kind of boundary state uh, on the edge? Like rather than the, the boundary between two um, different bases? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Actually, as, a, as a, you know, the edge states should be the similar to the, in the, the soliton, right? But in the real case, actually, uh, Edge is uh, we cannot 
uh, really terminate uh, like uh, the single chain. They have, uh, uh, because of their dangling bond exists in the real system, the dangling bond often connected with uh, the foreign atom or uh, residual gas molecules. Uh, the, the, due to that, actually, this edge state uh, too enhanced. We see it in the, this kind of the subtle and uh, topological solid physics. So, oh, I see. So there, there may be some, some kind of like um, the structural reconstruction on the edge, right? Right. In the real system. Oh, yeah. Okay. Structural relaxation is always happening there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Munjip Park. Oh, thanks for the nice talk. So I wonder whether is there a, any way that we can contour the stacking order so somehow we can relate this chiral soliton to some high order topological phase? Yeah, like that's a very nice, interesting question. Actually, we are uh, still working on that how to control the stacking orders. So basically, as I introduced, is uh, the uh, circular polarized light absorption can be uh, interacted with uh, uh, this chiral staking order, right? So mm -hmm. uh, our idea like here, so the start is uh, undimerized in the metallic phase, which is a uh, uh, higher temperature phase. Then we shine, shine in the circular polarized light on the sample, then cool down. Yeah. Then, this uh, like uh, around is a transit temperature. The uh, atom is uh, moving around, then is uh, interact with the circular light. Mm -hmm. They are prepared in the certain direction, stacking I order. See. So then we are locally in the uh, huge in the single car stacking domain. Then the light move in the, the other direction with the opposite uh, uh, upwind polarity. Then is we can generate additional stacking order. Then interface. Maybe we can introduce is a, is a, a certain in the uh, the type of in the chiral soliton. Okay, oh, interesting. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, we hope to see you soon. <laughs> yeah, I have to see the result. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Other I have one more question. Um, sorry. Uh, yep. the like, can you answer? Can you uh, have any? Can you make any comments about the uh, the fractional charge, like which occurs in the SSH model? Mm, yeah, that's another good question. Actually, uh, uh, Sang has uh, experts uh, to answer the, that question, but uh, uh, because I'm experiment list, so I can briefly introduce. Uh, so, uh, the. The, this kind of soliton actually fractionalized the, due to the, in the interchain coupling with the, uh, due to strength. If you interest, we can if you have a chance to the tune the interchain coupling, then we can tune the, this fractional charge um, uh, continuously. But uh, unfortunately, the, this fractionalization is uh, happened in the upper and the lower chain. But in total. They are still quantized. So I hope to uh, answer your question properly. If you're not satisfied, please uh, report in the sixth reference over here. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question? So if not, let's thank the speakers again.